Hey, what's going on guys? Kodman Gigans here. Uh, finally, BBC Chess Engine version 1.4 uh, with the uh, Stockfish NNE evaluation being embedded into it has been tested by CCRL member Gabor, Gabor Satz, believe it or not. Uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing the tester's name wrong though. But anyway, uh, you know, like there was lots of critics on Talk Chess Forum uh, in, reg in regards to this project, like why do we want to copy paste uh, Stockfish uh, evaluation into your own engine? Well, that doesn't make any favor to you and things like that. And many testers uh, actually refused to test this sort of a version because they were saying like it's not interesting to test uh, just the worst Stockfish and that's kind of it. But uh, to me personally, it's definitely not like that. And for me personally, uh, it's the matter of actually you know, like uh, letting uh, the wide community to touch the uh, cutting edge te technology of uh, latest Stockfish's evaluation function and just to give you an idea regarding how dramatically the rating increase in, uh, 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 increases in this case so we had uh, the rating of uh, 2096 for the handcrafted evaluation in BBC Chess Engine and uh, well, uh, I didn't only use uh, this uh, Stockfish evaluation, I've also improved the search slide a little bit. Uh, so maybe that made some progress to LO, uh, uh, to LO rating as well. But anyway, can you believe this? 2937 LO points for BBC 1.4. So this is absolutely beyond my expectations regarding the rating. I, 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 w I was thinking it would be well, something, some, something like twenty-seven fifty or twenty-eight at very, uh, at very least, at very most, but not twenty-nine actually. So it's at least twenty-nine uh, hundred elo points, which is absolutely, absolutely fantastic result to me personally. So uh, here are the games that were played versus other engines, and again, like without this stock vision, any BBC would never ever. Come even, come even close to this sort of result. So uh, uh, I never mean uh, I never meant to claim that I'm a good programmer or something. It's just the power behind the developers who's created Stockfish and NUE, and we as mortals can only can simply enjoy like the matter of embedding this sort of a, a Stockfish evaluation to whatever chess engine. It, it's now possible thanks to thankfully to. Uh, an NUE probe library by Daniel Shevel. So, uh, you know, like, I don't know, what do you guys think about this? But for me personally, the results are absolutely fantastic. So you just compare the versions of BBC that were tested at CCRL. See, like, no NNE versions, it's most like no more than, like, let's say 2100s, even though it's not 2100s, but let's say even if it was 2100s, well, with, with the latest search improvement, it would probably be 2100s. But this 2900, so it's about like 900 elo points only for the evaluation. So this is absolutely amazing to me personally. But anyway, uh, probably it's better to say thankfully to that criticism on Talk Chess Forum. Uh, uh, actually, that motivated me to walk even further. And now my uh, field of interest has switched to uh, Lila Chess Zero, like chess engines based on reinforcement learning techniques and they also rely on the neural network not only to predict the values for from the evaluation perspective and though it's done completely in a different manner there but also for the move over as well well it's kind of a high level way to, to explain this because it's much more complicated when it comes to tiny little details but anyway so at the moment, uh, I'm actually too dumb to master that, but I believe that one day, uh, if I would be smart enough, I would be able to actually made, uh, make a new tutorial series and creating a neural net-based uh, uh, chess engine that is learning from playing versus itself, which is also known as the reinforcement learning. And the core, uh, the core search algorithm within that sort of an, uh, of the kind of Lila type engines or alpha zero type engine is a so-called technique uh, it's called Monte Carlo tree search and what I've uh, what I have done so far 
I've already created the series on how to use Monte Carlo Research uh, with the tic-tac-toe game. I don't really think that you would be interested in watching this, but uh, I, I released this on my Code Kings channel, not on chess programming, not on this one. And, well, you can actually watch this, but I don't really encourage you because this is kind of like, it's, it's, it's more like my attempts to learn something new rather than, uh, I don't know, rather than some valuable knowledge or something. But anyway, the the, the matter the matter that the matter of fact that it kind of works, uh, it really motivates me. But then it goes to even more complicated algorithms. So I found uh, this fantastic uh, repo on GitHub. It's called Alpha Zero General by Sugar or Sugar Sugar probably Nayer. Uh, this guy, well, incredibly smart guy compared to me <laughs> well it's not even it's, it's it's not even comparable to be honest so he has created so-called generalized algorithms so he claims that his code might be working with whatever uh, whatever game and whatever framework and well this is really so and he uh, he provides some examples like actually uh, using this alpha zero approach for tic-tac-toe for uh, connect for game uh, for oh, for Othello, GoBank, and so just just a few games here. No chess yet, but well, it's it's not really that much. Doesn't matter that much. But anyway, uh, what the problem with this sort of an approach is that uh, when it comes to well, if you just have a look at the Monte Carlo research algorithm itself, it's just uh, a little bit more complicated compared to the one I've used in my Tic Tac Two implementation. Apart from only tr keep tracking off. Uh, like total game uh, uh, t the number of times the board has been visited and uh, number of w wins that is provided by the rollouts which most likely not available here I'm not sure uh, it keeps tracks of uh, kind of winning probabilities it, it's called policies uh, so w when, when we have a set of move to make in a current node uh, it has some probability and percentage of how likely the current move is about to bring us to the winning position and on the, and on the other hand there is another uh, value call called actually like, like an evaluation value so that's the overall probability of winning uh, for a current given position well it's a little bit too complicated and a little bit of a rocket science to me at this moment in particular but anyway uh, thanks to the videos by this guy Daniel Soper uh, I managed to pick up some basic uh, concepts like Q learning, which is involved in this Alpha Zero algorithm. So just just um, just helps to uh, bring my exploded mind back and <laughs> trying to gather <laughs> the pieces of my exploded mind uh, mind uh, into one uh, one 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 since one single in, in one single place. Anyway. Uh, Another good, uh, another good news that uh, within this general alpha zero algorithm, uh, this guy Sugar Nair actually actually has created a simple alpha zero tutorial, which is you know, like th there is a very complicated. Well, for me person, that's incredibly complicated paper by DeepMind that explains how this alpha zero uh, stuff works, and that is what uh, Lila Chess Zero based as well. So this zero, by, by the way, it means like that the algorithm d uh, doesn't rely on uh, supervised learning at all. So it's completely uh, learns from uh, self-play. So that's the idea behind it. And even though uh, this uh, tutorial has these weird formulas that if I if I can see the formula like this, this I just want to say like, okay, guys, I just quit. But anyway, even uh, even though these formulas are available. Still, the tutorial is quite pretty nice. And what I what I was uh, what I got stuck in is this sort of a stuff. stuff. So uh, I didn't understand what kind of Q values they were talking about. And again, like this video actually helped me to get a little bit of what these Q values actually are. Well, not, not only this one, but someone previous found the foundation of no, not this one. Foundation of Q learning was also helpful. Anyway, so I just want to show you guys that uh, I'm currently uh, working hard to, you know, like to become a little bit smarter, to 
be able actually to cover this uh, Alpha Zero like Lilich Zero like engines to present them in a form so noobs like me actually could have made use of it and could have actually touched this uh, in a simple way like it was with, with an NE. But the difference is that I don't really want to use all of those complicated deep learning libraries like PyTorch or Keras and I really want to create the neural network uh, in bare Python, well, or, or maybe only uh, involving NumPy uh, library just for matrix multiplication. And I understand that that would have been incredibly slow, weak, and so on, but we already achieved a big rating, but it's not our achievement, basically it's the Stockfish team's achievement. So no longer need to, to actually try to get this big, big rating here. But instead, from now on, for me personally, it's just a matter of understanding. And again, like, just at the very end of this video, I just want to mention what in particular actually drives me to master this reinforcement learning based chess engine. So the idea is that uh, this NNE technology showed us that instead of using the hand gravity evaluation using neural networks is way more efficient it's an incredible boost uh, in the performance and uh, the resultant uh, the result the resultant rating basically but on the other hand uh, you know like mm, after i've tried to implement uh, after a successful attempt of implementing Monte Carlo research in my uh, tic-tac-toe game i can even show you well, i have some tutorials here as well but i just i just want to show you the version that the code for monocular Ultra research itself uh, this is the adapted version of uh, monocular Ultra research package from PyPy. it's uh, well th there was uh, you can let the package that you can install like pip install uh, monocular Ultra research things like that but uh, here is an adopted version i've added my commentary slightly renamed the variables to make it more uh, kind of like in a code monkey game fashion here and uh, I, I can't 100% claim that I understand what have I done here, but but at least I have an overall general understanding of how this Monte Carlo research works, and I hope that when I would have been implementing this uh, for the second time, and actually when I will also add the Q learning here, so we would have the policies for uh, all the moves generated uh, to to make it easier to consider some, some, some of the moves. I think uh, it would be already a better quality compared to the quality that I had on my Comic Against channel when I was making this tic-tac-toe program. And the tic-tac-toe itself is not really that different. It's not really that difficult again. So uh, this is kind of my playground. So if I would be able to improve this tic-tac-toe to use uh, I'm not sure regarding the architecture of the neural network whether there would be two networks one for evaluation and or one for uh, predicting the policy weights uh, not, not policy weights but poli policy probabilities that uh, would influence the decision on what kind of move to pick up uh, when the system would be training actually so uh, well, I don't know, probably at the moment, <laughs> the only thing I've learned about this stuff is just fancy words. But uh, I hope that one day, if I manage to make this self-learning tic-tac-toe game, that is not only Monte Carlo research based, but also if, when I will embed a neural network into it, if I, would, would I, if I would be smart enough to make this, I hope then it, the turn comes to the chess, and then we'll try to make this sort of a stuff in Python, and if that works, later on we'll try to uh, to create a completely neural network version of our BBC chess engine, but that would be a completely different series. Well, at least at, at this moment, all this stuff is only in my dreams, but I really hope that one day we'll actually be able of, of doing that. So, anyway, um, I think this rating would be interesting for those who want to play around with this stuff. And again, like I'm not, uh, I'm not looking for strong chess anymore because it's the ma it's, it's not that difficult to create this strong engine if you're not if you're not doing this on your own if you're copy pasting this stuff. But 
But me personally, now it's more interesting to make something on my on my own, uh, regardless of how weak and how weird that would be. But at least what I gain at the very end would be the understanding of how it works and the possibility to share this with the white community. So not only those smart guys understand how this stuff works, but guys like you and me as well. well okay, guys. So this is it from my side. Uh, the next tutorial on chess programming channel is not about to come up soon because again like I really need to pick up really lots of knowledge from scratch completely and I need even more practice to uh, feel a bit comfortable in this environment that is completely new, new to me. I'm, I'm very dumb in math. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know like it's you can't even imagine how dumb I am in math. I hate math with all of my heart. and. All the neural networks and all this reinforcement learning math relies on math so much that for me personally it's a complete hell but anyway there is nothing to be done and i'm forced learning that because otherwise uh this kind of a type of the engine won't be uh ever possible to be uh, to be created basically so i hope that we'll see that i'll see you again when uh, i would be a bit smarter compared to today and Hopefully that in that happy days we'll start a new series on create a neural network based chess engine first in Python then in C and in C it would be based on BBC as I was already mentioning. So this is it from my side guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time and take care.